Alright, so here we go. I've made an updated version of the best way we can be making money this week in Grand Theft Auto 5 completely solo, which is only going to require us doing two things. The first thing that we're going to do is going to have us here over at our CEO office because we're going to be taking advantage of the double cash and the double RP that's dishing out from the import export business right now. So that's why we're over here because we need a car that we're going to have to sell crossing our fingers that we're going to be getting those high end cars, which I think are worth $200,000. And we're going to be going over all the details and tips and tricks here that you guys are going to be using for this uh, money making method here. So I'm just going to go talk to my secretary real quick and we're going to go ahead and request a mark to a presser. Now, at this time, I could have gone for the cargo bob because at some point. We will be using a cargo bob, and that's for the delivery of the import-export vehicles. So right here, we're just going to go ahead and grab this vehicle real quick. Now, once again, I could just pull this out, and I could have had a cargo bob. I could have taken it and basically, you know, used the cargo bob to fly it over to the import-export business. But I just drove it there. Looks like I take that person in with me. All right, cool. All right, so from there, we got our car. So what we're going to need to do at this time is make a delivery. So I want you guys turn right back around. We're going to go outside. We're going to call Pegasus and we're going to go ahead and request a cargo bob helicopter at this time. Now, if you guys don't have a cargo bob, think about getting one because these things are pretty useful. And then once we did is just park the cargo bob outside of the import export business. Let's go up to the computer here and now we're ready for the sale. Okay, so we got our car, we got our cargo bob and we're ready to rock. So you guys go go up to this right here. So price of value. So that's the cheapest. Here's the most expensive right here. So we're going to export one of those and you can export up to four cars at a time. If you were doing four high end cars with three other buddies, you'd be getting $800,000. So right there, $200,000 for this car. We're just gonna go ahead and put whatever mods on it because it doesn't matter whatsoever. You're not gonna make any more money for any type of modifications. Usually I just go through here as quick as I can, choosing any and everything as fast as possible because this car is not for us. This is not our car, this is for a customer. All right, so we're gonna go outside at this time, show you guys what I do here to hook this thing up. So I got my cargo bob parked right there, and we're gonna take the car, and we're gonna park the car right in front of the cargo bob. Now let's get into the cargo bob, and we're gonna pick this car up. Just be very careful, you guys don't like scrape the top of it. I think I mentioned this before. You don't wanna ding the car up. So no matter what, if you guys try to deliver this car, you're gonna have people chasing you, shooting at you you're gonna have to probably drive fast shoot at them depending on what happens and the car is gonna get dinged up i think i just might have messed it up right there but we'll see so make sure you fly up high enough into the sky so the enemies on the ground are not gonna spawn in and they're not going to shoot your vehicle and this is a lot easier way too of just getting across the city or potentially wherever you guys need to go for the delivery so here we go right here delivery west side of the beach just drop that in there just oh just like that any damages no damages two hundred thousand dollars right there because any damages would inquire a decrease in value and then also we're working towards a career challenge i believe okay, by doing this type of stuff you guys would have to go into the career challenge and check that out all right so what needs to happen now is we need to go ahead and get back to the maze bank so we're just gonna go ahead and find a brand new invite only session real quick that's to help us travel back here and don't worry since we got the cargo bob we're just gonna be calling it in which i would like to show you guys more towards the end of the video the location that i have for my import export so once again we're gonna go ahead and go back to the ceo office and we're gonna go like get another car at this time so import export bam there we go Good to go all right so from here once again we're just going to repeat the steps i'm just going to talk to my secretary real quick grab my mark II oppressor from there take the mark II oppressor to wherever the car is grab the car and then take the car back to the import export business so unfortunately yeah look where this car was <laughs> you guys know this area this is a lumber mill and i drove it all the way back whatever map's not that big anyways 
So there's another car right there. But we can't do a cell mission. Why? Because the cell mission, ever since we got done with it, I believe, uh, from what I read on Wiki, is a 20-minute timer. So you guys can only sell vehicles every 20 minutes in the game. But if I wanted to, I could go back to the CEO office and I could go get another vehicle if I wanted. But like right here, it's like, sorry, dude, you're not able to sell right now because you already sold a car and we can't find a buyer or whatever. That's probably put in there for the fact that, yeah, you if you had help, you could have like, you know, four of those cars sold. But anyways, from here, let's go do the next uh, part of the step here for the money making. This is going to be a lot more easier. So I'm driving my Mark II Oppressor. You guys are just going to go to this location right here. And since I'm already registered as a CEO president, we're going to go pop open the work and we're going to start up a job called Fortified, okay? And there should be a box bill that spawns in right around here. Hold on, I think I'm, it's dark. I can't see. Oh, hold on. Nope, there it is right there. All right, so just get into the box bill real quick. You're not going to stay in the box bill. We're just going to jump in it to activate the job real quick. All right, now get out of the box bill. Now we're going to hop on our Mark II Oppressor, and I'm going to head back to my import-export business at this time. So notice in the bottom right-hand corner, this job is going to take 10 minutes, but you guys, just you can just do it AFK. You don't have to do anything. I just sat here AFK in front of my import-export business, and bam, there it is, $105,000. So I just made the $200,000 plus the 105,000, so there's $305,000 right there. And then all I have to do from here is continuously rinse and repeat the steps. And since I'm at my import-export business and I've already gathered a car from earlier, we're ready to do another sell mission at this time. After the sell mission, we're gonna go ahead and get another car. And then after we deliver that car, we're gonna go do this fortified again and then just keep rinsing and repeating this process making a ton of money and you guys if you did this all day long you're going to be able to make millions of dollars uh with this run right here and the cool thing about it too is we're already ready to sell another vehicle because that one job did take 10 minutes and stealing that one car only took about 10 minutes so there's the 20 minute wait period right there and now we're back to taking advantage of this double cash and triple cash uh that's going on in the game plus the rp as well so there's the next expensive vehicle two hundred thousand dollars bam let's go same process upgrade the vehicle but this time i didn't have the cargo bob outside so just make sure you guys potentially have the cargo bob outside which i was talking about where's my location for import export business where is the best location well and i've looked at over the years and i have owned all of these businesses in every single place but it seems like right over here by the arena is going to be the best import export in my personal opinion why because we got a little wide open area for the cargo bob to like land in pick up the car so here i am right here look there i am when i call pegasus and i request a helicopter how far do you think i have to go i have I'll, I, that's that's all that i have to go right there look i just have to go there <laughs> I could run there and grab a cargo bob. It's not even that far. And also, we have access to the freeways and the highways over here anyways. And uh, it's very accessible, in my opinion. It is the best location. So right here, you guys, is an updated version, once again, of the best way of making money this week in Grand Theft Auto V beyond anything else, uh, necessarily. This is a really good grind. And also, you'll be knocking out some of that career challenge. So if you enjoyed video and it was helpful, hit like button down below on the way out. Think about subscribing, of course, if you guys are new here to the channel so you don't miss out on daily Grand Theft Auto V online videos. But from there, thank you all for watching. My name is Gravesite. Go check out the channel. we got tons of other videos over there for you guys to go ahead and enjoy. And I'm out of here, so peace.